end of a busy day it's already dark outside it's funny because yesterday we talked about eating the frog swallowing the frog what is it swallowing the frog dude you don't eat the frog you just gotta swallow that bad boy today has been a big eat shit day i think i've had copious amounts of shit just spoonful after spoonful today and that's just how it goes sometimes you gotta do it with a smile on your face you gotta do it with a smile on your face in business and in life sometimes things don't work out like you planned so you gotta be able to communicate when things aren't working properly or things need to change or you need to pivot or do things and when i'm alluding to is I bought properties last year under conservative expectations of I'm going to buy them and I'm going to wrap them. So basically like how a lot of our deals work, I own creative financing. I try to pick a low enough entry fee so I can wrap those to end buyers. People are going to move in, give me a down payment, call it a day. Well, I had a handful of those deals that literally took nine months, 10 months, 11 months to get wrapped up. And I was not the only one on those deals. Sometimes I had a partner or so on there. It just sucks sometimes when you get deals and it doesn't work out according to plan. And I'm over here having to talk to partners partners being like, guys, we're going to rent the property out or we're going to have to figure out a backup plan, contingency plan until the other plan is working. Or I personally have investments in the past where I just put money in. I'm not seeing an upside right now, but I hope in five or 10 years, there's going to be an upside there. With every great deal. 2023, there was a lot of amazing deals. Don't get me wrong. We built the portfolio, did over $14 million in real estate and done a lot of cool stuff. There's always going to be problem childs. And it's those five or so problem childs that I had to have multiple conversations on today to figure out what the heck we're going to do with them. You can't just turn a blind eye. You can't just be like, ah, this problem doesn't exist. So handle that. Some days you are on the attack all the time. And some days you got to dig your heels in and say, we have got to protect the allegiance to the business. You got to do what you got to do. Some days you move forward five, 10 steps. Some days you move forward half a step, but you're never standing still. But you got to take things as they come. So busy day, excited for the prospect of us opening up our cash side of our business, have some cool offerings that I'm going to be bringing up to some new students as far as like what it's going to look like inside the program some new stuff that we've been working on. I spent some time today with multiple team members out here. Maybe you guys saw me talking with Jake and Terry on some strategy stuff. Talked with David on some strategy stuff. Just a lot of really positive things all the way around. So it is a busy day. My wife's probably wondering where the hell I'm at. But life is good, man. You enjoy the tough days, probably better than the easy days because when things are too easy, you look around and be like, oh my God, something's wrong here. But you enjoy the tough days being like, oh, that's it? That's it? That's all you got? That's all you got for me, Vince? That's it? I can handle this. And I will say these problems, I would have been driving heating in a corner five years ago with these problems, but I also would have been grateful to have them. When I didn't have any money in my bank account, I would have been stoked to have to solve problems on five properties that I couldn't five tenants on and have all the rest that I have. In retrospect, if you take a step out of your own problems, zoom out 10,000 feet and you look at it and be like, dude, life is good. There's a lot to be grateful for. Plus, you ever thought about the size of the universe? Just saying. The universe is bigger than we could ever imagine. And we're like not even the size of a grain of sand and our little problems don't matter so grand scheme of things life's good and we keep moving forward so in the making of a millionaire you think about what you can handle what kind of person do you need to become to solve problems that the millionaire version of yourself has to solve and just be that person today so guys that's the secret thank you for watching today's version of the vlog tomorrow what's tomorrow is tomorrow friday is tomorrow friday really we got to go back to the house we got to start planning out what we're going to be doing with the rooms is he busy so guys thank you for watching see you tomorrow